Uh, someone recently asked me if you had a mesh like this, uh, sort of landscape mesh, say with an open bottom, uh, how would you close that off in Mesh Mixer and make a solid that you could that you could 3D print? So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you start at the selection tool, and if you double click near the boundary, uh, that will actually select along the boundary loop all the edges, and then you can go on. So I'm going to give it a little bit of shape here. Basically, what we're going to do is use the smooth boundary tool, which you start by hitting B to uh, smooth out that rough boundary. And uh, after you accept the tool, now we've got a sort of contour in there, and we've got this exterior region. And so what we're going to do is extrude that down. So you just start the extrude tool and give it a negative offset, you know, set it to however thick you want, and accept. And now we've basically got a sort of sort of base, and we just got to get fill it in and get rid of that extra. So what we're actually going to do is use the transform faces tool. So when you start that tool, you get this little widget in the middle of the screen. So go underneath and then pull in on the arrow and shrink down the hole. So basically what that's doing is leaving faces behind. Um, the problem is those faces are kind of ugly, and so you can't, so what we want to do is fill that hole with the fill tool, but you can't just use it right just yet because of all those ugly triangles. So what you can do is start up the volume brush and make sure the secondary brush is S2, and then um, hold down Shift and then I'll start the secondary brush and you just brush around the hole and that's going to basically magically clean up all those ugly triangles and give you a sort of nicer mesh. So then you switch back to the selection tool, hit S, and uh, just select you know, some region around there, a sort of boundary region. Uh, filling always works better when you clean up little ear, ear triangles. And then start the fill tool, and you see it fills in with a nice mesh. Hit A to accept. And now we've closed this thing off, and we've got a a watertight solid that you could send to your 3D printer.